Hey y'all, it's Costa. On this channel, we explore the unavoidable truths and innovative solutions to the long-term care industry. In this video, we're talking about remote monitoring and surveillance in long-term care. So the primary issue that we have in the long-term care space is that so many people, the majority of people, over 90% of the American population can't afford to pay for long-term care. And the reason is, is because you're paying for a human being to take care of another human being. And guess what? Human beings are expensive. So if you don't have access to long-term care, what does that mean? That means that you or your family member are going to be the one that's doing the care. Now I want you to think about this because we all have bills to pay. We all have things that we're responsible for. And imagine if your responsibility superseded your ability to make money and there is no alternative, meaning that no one's giving you any universal basic income to support your bills or support your family or allow you to eat. So there is a solution to this problem. If you want to be able to actually leave your home or go work or run a few errands or go to the park, there is a technological application to solve the issues with long-term care, okay? The first thing that we need to consider is buying remote technology or surveillance. And I know that that sounds scary, but it's not. You could go buy a Nest Cam or a Cloud Cam, or you could go buy some sensors for doors. You could go and buy a Nest thermostat. All of those things will allow your home to become a smart home and it'll allow you to remote monitor the individuals whose care you're responsible for. So you don't have to be there 24 hours a day. You could be there maybe from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. or from 4 p.m. to 8 a.m., but you don't have to be there 24 hours a day because you have technology that will allow you to respond if something happens. And secondary to that, it allows you to respond so that the situation doesn't escalate. So if there's a chronic illness, whether it's a physical disability or a cognitive disability like Alzheimer's and dementia, you can intervene within a short period of time. Or even better, you could only have to pay a caregiver for a few hours a day to respond to that situation instead of them being there at the home 24 hours a day. Now imagine how much lower the cost of care would be that way. So guys, a nursing home costs $120,000 a year. Do you have $120,000 a year? Okay, let's say home and community-based services. A caregiver to come into your home is probably gonna cost you somewhere between $25,000 and $45,000 a year. Do you have that as disposable income? So if you don't, what is the harm in spending $200, $300, making an investment, and trying this application, this remote monitoring surveillance application, to see if it will allow allow you to have more freedom, to see if the person or the individual that you care for has a better quality of life and remain safe in their own home. And you can also go back to living your life on your terms instead of being chained to your home and the care process. Remote technology and surveillance. It's not difficult. There is risk, but trust me, it's the only application that's available to remove some of the human element and drive down the cost of care and allow you to have access to higher, more qualified, better compensated caregivers and get back to living your life on your own terms.